Okay, today we're going to talk about another aspect of uh, Gears 3D Motion Analysis. Analysis that I use a lot during <clears throat> instruction is this uh, aspect called the sight line. Basically just an indicator of head and neck rotation throughout the swing. So here's the, off the visor of the cap here, it just draws a line straight out and you can see from every different angle kind of how that looks. And it's just monitoring how the head and neck is moving throughout the swing. And the reason I use this to kind of showcase um, what that's doing is because I feel like a lot of amateurs have the wrong idea about what the head and neck does throughout the swing. So let's take it through here with, um, with this player, high-end player. As you see as he goes back, he's going to rotate his trunk and his upper body, and that's going to move that line to the behind the golf ball a little bit. So a little bit of freedom in the head and neck is actually good. It makes for an athletic movement so you're not so uh, wooden and frozen and it keeps your body a little more relaxed. So allowing that to rotate a little is good. The issue that comes in with many golfers is at this point in the swing and transition, they try to keep their head down too much. And they almost, at this point, a lot of them are looking behind the ball. So you want to feel like you let the head and neck rotate with the swing. And you can see he's making no attempt to freeze his head. He's actually letting it just move with the motion of his shoulder. So on the back swing, a little freedom, rotates behind the ball slightly, moves to a point where it's looking in front of the ball, stays there for impact to stabilize his kind of where his eyes are looking. And then through the ball, he's going to let his shoulders bring his head up again. So that's what I would like to see happen during a golf swing. Let's move it to a little different perspective so you can see what happens there. So again, a little to the right, a little bit up to accommodate his shoulder, and then you're going to see it rotate back toward the target and into the finish. So if you've been guilty of keeping your head down too long, this idea of letting it rotate and this visual can tend to help. I know it helped with my swing and it helps with a lot of my students. So um, I hope you get something out of this. If you have any other videos you'd like me to cover with the swing. Um, we've measured it in 3D, every aspect of the swing, so I can help you understand uh, what better players are doing and maybe give you some ideas for what you need to do with your swing. So if you have any comments, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video.